Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be checking out the freight elevators in the outpost around Stanton, as well as testing some of the ship tractor beams. So let's start from Crusader with this colors black. So let's start with one of these moons. Let's choose Daymar first. Okay, so let's go check out the mining area one for one. Okay, arriving at uh, Shiva Mining 141. We still have that big landing pad. Just one landing pad. I can see there's one little thing that's at... Ooh, what happened to that ship? Landing. Oh, that's an uh, active player. Now, landing pad is clear. Let's land here. So the freight elevator is right on the landing pad. This is good if you're purchasing stuff or unloading stuff. It's easier. Okay, cargo area. This is a 120 ICU of um, capacity. So let's go buy something. We have to select location, this Arcor mining area 141. And now we can buy these things. Tungsten, let's uh, get some Tungsten. Tungsten, we have 4,000 ICU. Purchase complete, I purchased. Every single size except 32. I'm afraid like 32 can is too big. Uh, before we leave, we're going to try to buy a 32. See if it will bug this place or not. Okay, let's access this terminal. Raise the elevator. Let's see. Whoa, what the heck? Let's see. Oh, this is a 24. It's sticking out. Ooh, this is crazy. Okay. So there's colors black. Track the beam. You have to get to the co-pilot seat. Into remote turret. There we go. Got this tracked beam right here. Target. Wait. What? It's not working. It's not working. I click left mouse button. It. It's not working. No, I I can't. Uh, it's not working. Now let's try this MPUV tractor. Yep, this one works. Let me see how far can this tractor beam go. I think this is a size 2 tractor beam. Let me see how far can this go. You hold left alt. 125, 130. Range warning. 148. There we go. 100, about 150. You pass 150. The box drops for the size 2. And this is a size 24. 24 ICU box. Let's see how far can it go. When the red bar ends, it will drop. 150. That's uh, pretty far. 150. Let me try the rear tractor beam. The rear tractor beam looks a little bit smaller than the front tractor beam. So the front tractor beam should be more powerful. The rear tractor beam should be less powerful. So we'll try the rear tractor beam into remote turret. Okay, so this is a rear tractor beam. Let's try the 24 SCU. Oh yes, you can see the range is less. So maximum you can go is about 100 120 meters a little bit more than 120 meters for the 24 ICU it's not that bad for the 2 ICU box 2 ICU a little bit more than 120 yeah a little bit more than 120 Okay, now I'm going to, let me see, yes, this is a size 2 tractor beam, sure grip, and this is a size 1 tractor beam, but somehow I cannot detach it, it's a little bug right here, I'll try to detach it, but it won't allow me to detach it, I, and of course I unlock the port for the ship, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see the green silhouette. But I'm not able to detach it. I want to switch with this color's black. I think this one is a size 1 tractor beam. It's a smaller one. This one right here. Tractor beam on the color's black is not working. At least not in armor system. 
Okay, I'm gonna fly outside the armistice zone. Let's see. Into a remote turret. This is outside the armistice zone. Negative. It's still not working. I uh, press M. Doesn't matter which button I press. It's not working. At least for me, I can't get it to work. The tractor beam on the colors black. Okay, so another thing that I learned about freight elevator. Doesn't matter it's here or in a home location. Whatever freight elevator. Let's say you still have a lot of stuff inside the elevator. You have not taken them out yet. Whatever person, whether in your party or not, as long as they go to this terminal and then click raise elevator. So bring this elevator to their warehouse. So whatever stuff that you had over there becomes theirs. So if you are working in a place and you see someone come over here trying to access elevator, you better shoot this person if you don't know who that person is. Otherwise, they can steal all your stuff. So this is a problem. Okay, now I am going to try the 32SU box. So I just purchased two 32SU. It access this terminal. Okay, bring it to the... Oh, no. See? It does not fit the 32. That's what I'm afraid of. So this elevator does not fit the 32SU. Then why even put the 32 as an option over there? I don't understand. So the biggest size of the box you can access is the 24 SCU from here. Let's go to Shubin Mining Facility SCD-1 on Daymar. All right, so this place has two landing pads. Wait a second. This big pad actually has two freight elevators. Oh, looks like this one is bugged. It says loading contents. And it's uh, forever loading contents. Somehow this one is bugged. Looks like this the same size as the other ones. 120 maximum capacity. Yes, this one is good. 120. So this is a small pads here. And we also have a freight elevator. So three free elevators here. Loading contents. Oh, it's bugged. So only one we can actually use. Yeah, this could also be a problem when patch goes to live. All right, still Daymar, let's go to Brio's Breaker Yard. This is a must check out place. Oh, we do have a small freight elevator right here. Let's land and check it out. Just pretend this is a weevil egg. So let's go try to sell it. Right now, I need to raise the elevator. Oh no, it's bugged. Loading contents forever. Once this elevator is bugged, you can't do anything. You can't buy, you can't sell. It's not like as easy as before. Just land your ship and you can sell or buy. No, here you cannot. All right, Brio's Breaker Yard is bugged. So now let's go to Herson. Let's go to Reclamation and Disposal, Orif. Ooh. Looks like we might have problems here. Oh, this one is good. Raise it up. Okay, elevator's raised. So this is someone else's stems that was here. I'm gonna put more stems on the elevator here. One more here. And now I'm gonna... Oh, the following item is blocking the elevator. What? Yeah, this this uh, freight elevator thing is very buggy. Even this one ICU is blocking the elevator. There, there is no way we can we can like sell or anything. Anyway, I can't I can't sell the drugs here. All right, so this is Pickersfield on Herson. I did this in one of my previous videos. But in this video, I want to find out exactly what is the gross profit for selling one SCU of RMC. Okay, now let's buy 
some RMC. We have 60 SEO in stock. Remember, do not buy 32 ICU or 24 ICU. This small elevator cannot take 24 or 32. So I'm gonna just buy one ICU, all of them, one ICU. So it's 27K per ICU, the price. Now we have 60 ICU, you see that players right there? If this is in live, then it's gonna be problem. So we got 60 ICU of uh, RMC. Oh, look at the money right here. I just gonna take one. So right now, if this person so right now this person doesn't have to shoot me. He just come to this freight elevator, just click lower. Oh, we can't, failed. Yes, this arrow prevented. If there is no arrow here, so he just, he or she just come over here, click this arrow, that's it. And then everything will go to his or her freight elevator. Let's go. He's probably wondering what the heck? He just abandoned all those RMCs. All right, TDD at uh, R Corp. Here we go. One SCU of RMC I purchased for 27K and I'm selling for 12.7K. That's it. No more RMC trading. All right, now let's check out the shitty Glim Farm on Walla with this beautiful Nomad. And we're gonna test the Nomad tractor beam as well. Okay, arriving Shady Glim Farm. Oh, I don't see any freight elevator here. Entering the building here. I think they removed the terminal. We, before we can buy some stuff here. I think they removed the terminal. That's why there is no freight elevator here. All right, so this place is Paradise Cove. It's a jump town on Walla. Let's see if we can buy drugs from here or not. I don't see a freight elevator here. Okay, land here. Let's check it out. All right, let's see. Oh, yes. They removed the terminal from Jumptown. You cannot buy drugs from here anymore. I mean... During Jumptown event, of course, you do the Jumptown event. But uh, after Jumptown event, usually there is a terminal and you can buy drugs from here. And you can make a pretty good profit if you know how to get to Jumptown easily. But right now, they removed the terminal from the Jumptown. At least this one is on Walla, Paradise Cove. I assume that they changed for every single one of them. But I don't have the time to fly to every single one of them to, to check. Oh, well, so here goes the drug trading gameplay from these jump town locations and also the hydroponics locations. All right, the next place we're checking out is the Narcropolis on Microtech. This is another place we can buy drugs. No freight elevators at the Narcropolis, so we cannot do drug trades here anymore. I'm not even gonna check inside. I don't think that has uh, the terminal. We can buy drugs. Okay, next place is the Dumboro on Microtech. We can buy RMC here, but RMC trade is dead if the price is like that. We have a small, very small free elevator. I would think we would have a few free elevators for outposts so multiple players can use, but no, only one player can access the free elevator, can access the inventory. The RMC price here is the same, 27K SCU. Okay, let's check out the Nomad's tractor beam. Let's see how we can use it. There is a inter remote turret on the left side, right here. Enter it, perfect. Now, oh, nice. I can tractor, this is a two SCU. Let's see how far we can send it. This is a size one tractor beam. 120. We passed 120. 140 now. 140, 40, 150. Oh, pass 150. And the uh, cargo dropped. That's a size two ICU box. Now let's just try this. This is a 16 ICU box. 
140. Yeah, I passed 140. Now it dropped. It's pretty good, even for a 16 ICU. I can send it to 140 meters. So definitely the ship tractor beam is a lot more useful for the new patch. This is a size 1 ICU. 100, yeah, 140. Past 140, it will drop. Oh! <laughs> oh! There's a nomad underneath. It's a classic star citizen. Oh! Are those? Oh, there we go. I got a box. Oh, come come here. I'm falling faster than the, than those boxes. So this is it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.